All right, let's get our first game. Oh, I didn't look at lands. Uh, let's just double check the lands. They have a little less blue than white. That is incorrect. It should be a little less white than, or a little less, it should be the other way around. Okay. So I want to get those Omen speakers out early. Get rid of Aether Tunnel. It might be something I end up getting rid of in this deck. It's possible. But again, the source is unblockable. Fairly valuable for us. Get the tunnel on the stag. It's pretty damn good. All right. So standard Magic the Gathering hand where I don't have the lands to play it. So I have to take a two for one before I start. Seems fucking great. Welcome to the game, Filthy. Enjoy your morning. All right. Now we switch that up for no early game and four lands. But I can't mulligan again. So I guess I'll get, just get brutally punished. Um... Do I want a Diamond Mare here? This card doesn't have a lot of impact on the board. It's two drop, but it's two drop that doesn't do a lot. All right, so we're working at a pretty solid disadvantage already. Our hand is slow and clunky, but at least we have lands. Great, another land, just what I don't want to see. You know what would have been really good right about now? A Diamond Mare. Yeah. Would have been really good. I would have just fucking diamond mared Animator on curve. Well, I wouldn't, because I would have drawn the diamond mare. It would have been next turn, but still, it's a little bit of a punish. Feels bad. Sure. He's got pretty much the dream red white opener. The best two drop, the best three drop. I still don't have a play. I think this is going to be a quick one. A bit frustrating, gotta say. We're probably just dead. Like, how do we come back from this already? There's five fucking creatures on board. So we've drawn uh, three lands and an, 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 and an animator has been our draw thus far. So, uh, yeah. Some menace creature on the board. I gotta block the Courser, I guess. It means I'm still taking four. I'm dead to Inspired Charge or uh, Trumpet Blast right now. Or a million fucking other things. And I just, just resigned to the... Yeah, okay. So, that was a total blowout um, because we mulliganed. And maybe because we threw the Diamond Mare down, but we didn't know the guy was... I mean, in game two, I wouldn't mulligan the Diamond Mare, right? I wouldn't put that in the bottom of the deck because this player is playing aggressive red. Red white. A little bit hard to know that ahead of time. I think the deck is fine as it is. Leaves me a little frustrated, I gotta say. Um haven't watched your MTG stream in a while. Is it still difficult to play? This is a free to play game. Um yeah, you don't get to do a lot of playing besides the uh scrap Aether Tunnel, grab Wall of Mist. I think I might want a three two body. Looks okay. Yeah, exactly. You don't get to play enough drafts as a free-to-play. It's the issue with this game if you play it free-to-play. Alright, we've got four lands again. Two removal and a diamond mare. I'm not mulliganing because mulliganing always costs me games.
Motivator opening, pretty ideal for him. All right, uh, let's grab white. What a useless fucking draw. Sure. Just draw some lands. I need some actual playable cards that matter at this stage in the game. I mean, I guess I could have trusty pack beast, but it feels with an artifact, with a fragile artifact creature that heals me on the board, it feels a little stupid to be playing that right now. But maybe. All right. Am I going to dwindle or bonds an ogre? Probably. Let's dwindle it. Okay. Well, I've drawn all my removal. I have a fair creature base. Need to draw some of them. Ah, okay. He'll uh, invoke the divine my my deal. So I get four more to the face. Great. I don't really feel like bonding it, but I think I'm going to. He doesn't seem to have a lot of other plays, or I think he would have played them. Okay. How many more non-creatures go in this deck? Uh, very, very, very few. I think we're at 16 creatures right now. But I've got them all, so that's something. Has he really healed seven times off the fucking fountain? No. Okay, he healed three. I'm like, what? It hasn't been seven turns. All right, I'm going to kill that with Mighty Leap here. Or I could get rid of the Motivator. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. Good. Another fucking land really does not help me whatsoever. Um, I guess if I draw two land, maybe I'm going to want to play both of these next turn. Been a lot of sit back and wait to get hit by a red white deck with this hand. It's not what I want to see. Sure. Oh, I haven't fired up the overlay. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, okay. Another land. Perfect. I guess I'll sit back and wait. Nice. It's 
Is that worth the Hero Mancer's Cage? Luminous Bonds our Mare, because we have no other creatures in the deck, apparently. Well, apparently we've drawn... I mean, how is this possible? Like, what other cards are in the deck right now that are not castable creatures? Like, give me a fucking break. Sure. Got all of our removal. I like having this much room. I guess there's still Disperse in here. Still Disperse. There it is. We got it, boys. We have successfully removed every non-creature spell from our deck. Feels fucking good. This explosive apparatus is the one remaining, I believe. Mm. Do I want to give them my trusty pack beast? And take a million damage. How much am I taking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't want to take 8 damage, but what are my fucking options when I never ever draw a creature? <laughs> I don't... I mean, is it worth it for 2 damage? I guess. Are we having a game over here? Because I just feel like I'm sitting back doing nothing this entire fucking time. Uh, if he's any sort of uh, AoE thing, I'm fucked here. I'm even going to block the one too. I'm going to bounce the uh, the token. Or rather, I'm not going to block with the one too. I'm going to bounce the token. Look, we did one damage with Disperse. The value. The fucking value. Oh my god, a card. A playable card that heals me. It's really it feels really good. Alright, some creatures. Sure. I'm gonna luminous bonds of Falcon. Not even joking. Okay. Maybe we're gonna get creatures in a row. Why not send Mare back to hand? Because I'm worried about the damage. I was worried I was dead that turn. Hey, another creature. It's nice. Start attacking next turn. It's kind of exciting. Oh, he's at 99 health again? That's, a, that's exciting. We're wearing him down, for sure. I'm holding the last piece of removal in my deck. A suspicious bookcase. I'm pleased. Should have maybe played that after the combat phase. Why do I not want to play a land when I have them in hand? 
because I don't need to land on the board and I might as well act like I have something else in my hand. That's not just nothing. I've already showed one comeback trick. He might respect a second. Just represents uncertainty for my opponent. If I play the land, it represents certainty that I don't have a card there. Sort of Vigilance is really solid for him. It's going to generate guys here. I don't even have a good response to that. Four to the face feels pretty bad right about now. That's what I'm doing. Could remove the sword. I think the sword is actually better to remove than the priest here. Okay. Motivator, sure. Our deck is looking pretty bad right now. The next dead draw for us would be Animator. Island's a pretty dead draw, too. Question is now, do I want to trade the stag for three instigators? Probably not. I can make it unblockable by lose one of my blockers. I think I'm still doing that. Sure. Oh, he's got some sort of effect here, it looks like. Oh, I don't have anything to play around it, so... Oh, I just didn't want to take as much damage anymore, it's kind of weird. Why chump block the other one? Draw card is really nice. Serpent's really nice too. Can't play it this turn though. Does it matter how much I hit him for here? Yeah, it does. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't need to do that. All right, we're going to eke out game two from my opponent having less creatures than I have removal, apparently. Um, which, by the way, 
There's like a pretty good bone to ash game. The end of all that. It's very slow versus his deck, but maybe. Disperse not maybe not all that valuable. I mean he's got a little bit of removal. I can potentially deal with his bonds that way. I think I'm gonna play with this again. Opponent had a poor hand. Yeah, so did I. But at least I had a hand, as opposed to the game before, where I just had six cards that weren't a hand. Opponent goes first. It's a little bit scary. Why is the shadow here? Like a Vader helmet. This is fine. What is this shadow here? It's Darth Vader playing right behind me. It's my shadow. Sword out's pretty scary. Especially with walls, because walls don't fucking block shit. I hate just throwing a pack beast onto the table. But I want something that kills the minions that come out of that. Next turn, I'm probably going to want a Guardian. I can force him to have Invoke the Divine right now for the sword. And if he doesn't have it, I get to Guardian next turn. I mean, clearly he's going to be playing all of his enchantment destruction. Like, all of that's in there. We have four enchantments that he's seen. Tag's a good one for him. I guess this is a bad one for us. I'm going to draw to look for an answer here. Do I want to swing first? So presumably he's flying the stag over. No, presumably he's flying a cab over. Wish I had saved mana this turn before doing that. Um, no, I'll take that trade. Let's swing with the guardian. Okay. Should just done that before scholar is the thing. Take Vengeance, sure. That's why he was super excited about that. I wonder why he was so excited about that swing. Now we know. Everything, huh? Guess he taps the Pack Beast if he flies the Stag here. OK, 
Okay. I'm going to take two extra this turn, unfortunately. I mean, the Scholar can never attack. He's just there to slow the Stag down. The Stag gets flown by the Courser. No, I think I'm blocking the Calf. Can wait and get a better angel turn next turn. I think I like that more than what I was planning. Presumably I'm taking four this turn for that though. Seems like a bad attack to me. All right, let's angel. Swing. Stag is still tapping our angel, which sucks. Okay, I'm just not going to be able to stop Stag plus Courser at this rate. It's going to have to be an Omen Speaker this turn if I don't draw either of my removal spells. Both such premium aggro cards, both of these guys. Not what I wanted to see. Is this too slow? So I take four this turn. I can block. No, I can't even block with the Aviation Pioneer. I take four this turn if I disperse the Angel. I guess I could disperse the Bonds for a turn and kill the Courser. That might be enough. All right. Yep, I've see I've just literally talked about that exactly. Hasted three three is not good for me right now. It's actually super bad. I wonder if he's attacking with it. Nope. Just happy to whittle me away in the air.
dead to any combat trick right now. But I have to block the Courser. Dead to Shock. Okay. Uh, he's at 12. Corsair plus Stag, what an obnoxious fucking combo. Both white commons. All right. Presumably that's indestructible charge. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Don't really want to give up the bookcase. He doesn't change anything if I triple block it. He gets to kill the pack beast. Sure. Fine with that. Dead to a charger if I play aggressively here. I actually attack with the omen speaker this turn. No. Dead to a I'm dead to a charger and he's got a motivator on board. Let's uh let's be a little careful. Oh, and I'm dead to Act of Treason, of course, right? Yep. Dead to Act of Treason last turn, though. He's got a, I've got a 1-1 one, one flyer on the board. Like, that just kills me. Stop drawing land right about now. So he's got four attackers next turn. Potentially. Three attackers. Eight versus seven here. Seven versus six here even. Um swing with the pack beast. It's not a good one for me. 
Gives them infinite amounts of time or two second draw. Both are bad for me. Anytime he draws active trees and I lose. Anytime he draws a flyer, because I'm not dead to a flyer quite yet. Yep, I understand Pack Beast traded for Ogre. That was my hesitation. I get two more. I get one more damage to face this way. Oh, come on. All right. I mean, sure. What is played this game? Do I say, do I tell my opponent he played well here? Like, did he play well? Our deck just doesn't fucking do anything right now. All right. I guess that's the act of treason he drew. We needed any of our removal. Remember last game we were flooded with removal? We had fucking four of it in the first like five minutes. Well, it's never got it again. What would we have changed in that deck? Like what, what mattered there? Like nothing, right? Like there's no cards that we could have subbed in that would have done something differently there. We need to draw the 